Howdy! I'm Professor Curtis of Aspire Mount Academy, here with more statistics homework help. Today, we're going to learn how to apply a non-standard normal distribution to boat design. Here's our problem statement. A boat capsized and sank in a lake. Based on an assumption of a mean weight of 132 pounds, the boat was rated to carry 50 passengers, so the load limit was 6,600 pounds. After the boat sank, the assumed mean weight for similar boats was changed from 132 pounds to 171 pounds. Complete parts A and B below. Okay, part A says, assume that a similar boat is loaded with 50 passengers and assume that the weights of people are normally distributed with a mean of 175.2 pounds and a standard deviation of 40.2 pounds. Find the probability that the boat is overloaded because the 50 passengers have a mean weight greater than 132 pounds. Okay, to solve this, I'm going to use the normal calculator inside StackCrunch. And I know I need the normal distribution because it says here that the weights are normally distributed. So inside StackCrunch, I'm going to pull up my normal calculator by going to Stat. Calculators, normal. So here's my normal calculator. I'm going to put in the distribution for the weights that are given here. So the mean is 175.2. And then the standard deviation here, it says in the problem statement is 40.2, but we've got more than one person on the boat. So therefore we have to do an adjustment to our standard deviation. And to help with that, I'm gonna pull up a calculator here. So let's see, we've got the standard deviation of 40.2, and then I have to divide it by the square root of the sample size. I'm gonna divide it by 50, take the square root, this is the number I need to put in for the standard deviation inside calculator stack crunch. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And then I'm going to paste that in here. So there's my adjusted standard deviation. Now we want the probability that the 15 passengers have a mean weight greater than 132. So 132. And then this needs to be greater than, it looks like it's 100%. <laughs> so our probability is 1. Well done! Now part B says, the boat was later rated to carry only 15 passengers, and the load limit was changed to 2,565 pounds. Find the probability that the boat is overloaded because the mean weight of the passengers is greater than 171, so that their total weight is greater than the maximum capacity of 2565 pounds. Okay, so I've got the same distribution here, but now I need to adjust my standard deviation because now I've got 15 passengers instead of the 50. So I'll pull my calculator back up. So we're gonna take the standard deviation of 40.2, and this time we're going to divide it by the square root of 15. Copy that in. Select the whole number before I copy it in, or excuse me, paste it in. Now I've got the right number. We want the probability that the passenger is greater than 171. So I need to change this number here to 171. Hit compute, and there's my probability. Not a absolute certainty, but not that much of an improvement either. Fantastic! Now the last part of the problem asks, do the new ratings appear to be safe when the boat is loaded with 15 passengers? Well, the probability the boat's going to be overloaded is almost two-thirds. That's a sizable proportion. That's no small number. So yeah, I wouldn't say the boat, I mean, it's safer, but not appreciably safer. So yeah, it's, it's still an unsafe 
boat. I wouldn't want to get on it. So I'm going to look through my armchair options here and select the one that matches that. The ratings do not appear to be safe, but it's not because of this. There is a high probability of overloading. I like that one, but let's check the other two before we hit check answer. Nope. Nope. Well done. And that's how we do it at Aspire Mountain Academy. Be sure to leave your comments below. Let us know how good a job we did or how we can improve. And if your stats teacher is boring or just doesn't want to help you learn stats, go to AspireMountainAcademy.com where you can learn more about accessing our lecture videos or provide feedback on what you'd like to see. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.